All right, here we are, expand the craft. We are going to show the breakdown of this craft. This is a Hobie Pro Angler 14, is that right? 2018. Yeah, 2018. And um, we're going to show you just exactly what it takes to break it down and put it on the trailer. Do you want to bring it up here to take the motor off first? I'll put the motor off right there. Okay, we're going to pause just for a moment. Oh. You don't know. All right, so we got the boat lined up behind the trailer. And there's a couple of modifications he's going to do to the trailer. But first things first, he's just going to take the motor off. Just your standard, got to take a couple of screws off. And uh, now he's doing it, instead of doing it on the beach, he's doing it waist deep in the water. Depending on where you live and how cold your water is, you might want to, you know, change that. All right, now that he put his boat away, or in the motor, he's going to undo the straps. Now remember, the decking is held down with these heavy-duty straps. And it only takes this long to disassemble those. Now you could always double up if you were afraid that you know, you're going to break something, but it seems to work for us. So it takes that long. This is all real time here, except for the pause we took for him putting the uh, things away in the truck. So he's taking one by one the decking and if you can see here on the decking there's this little block here and here those blocks are what we call bunks and those bunks keep the uh, the decking in line uh, between the two outriggers uh, or, or, or I should say the uh, the, the uh, adjustable cross tubes the outrigger actually is the whole assembly. There's the hull and then the cross tubes. Also called in some cases the Aka and Ama. And right now he is pulling the clevis pins out. There's these two bolts that keep the uh, front in place. And there is, of course, two in the back that keeps things in place. And here comes the really cool part. Now that the four bolts have been disassembled, but everything is still uh, in place. It's held in place, particularly because of the the railing on the uh, the aft section of this Hobie holds it in place and look slides right in boom just like that now there is one pin and again this is the very first time that we've done this we just put this boat together today we just made this outrigger kit and so he's going to take the bolt with the pin. Oh, you're already done already. I, can't, I took you less time than it took me to explain it. It's done. Now it's trailer ready. The thing he is going to have to work on is that the lights on his trailer, he has to bend them out of the way to get the boat on now that it has an outrigger kit. But he's going to fix that with... Um, Something that's going to allow his lights to uh, bend down and or he's going to just put a temporary thing. Right now he just bends them down. Right. Again, this is live. This is how long it takes him to completely trailer his Hobie. How about that? That's it. I don't know that that took much of any time longer than it would for you to just put it on the trailer if it didn't have an outrigger kit. So 
What did you think of the performance of the uh, the it's boat? Up. I mean, how fast did you get at quarter throttle? Six miles an hour. Six throttle. at quarter throttle. Okay, that's more than I thought you would get. <laughs> and and that's that's without uh, testing it uh, too much. Oh, relatively flat water, but oh my goodness. Expandacraft.com. Make sure that you uh, subscribe so that you can see further um, videos of this particular boat and others as we post them because we're going to put this boat to the test. We're going to take it out and do surf launches in rough water. Uh, we're going to uh, show it with his wife sitting in a Tommy Bahama on the, on the wing and uh, much, much more. Expandacraft.com. Subscribe and see you next time.